is a volumetric laser projection system. What are we calling it? Tempest. Really? Yeah. I'm going to turn it on. You ready? Yeah. OK, then. Wow. It's booting. Can't wait. This is going to be so cool. No, I'm serious. MIT commissioned one of these. Always building it. What? Really? OK, ready? Yeah. It's basically a bank of individually programmable laser emitters fired into a system of adjustable parabolic mirrors. They sell these at Gadget World. <sighs> Not this one, sister. Sister. Somebody named me a hurricane. Katrina. Yeah. Do we have Katrina yet? We haven't finished inputting it yet. No. Uh, how about, um... How about the ball of cyclone? Sure. Sure. B H O L A. So, every single piece of data collected on the Bolo Cyclone has been assimilated into this model. So we can look at it in real time, we can spin through it. Slow it down. Freeze it at any given moment. And slice into it. And look at it in terms of temperature. So once Holly has linked up to the data you guys hold in other hurricanes, anything measured during the life of a storm can be examined here. As if you guys were God on high looking down from above, you know, how you like to play God. Let's show it hitting land. Oh, yes. It's cool when it hits land. Very sweet. <laughs> OK, so November 9th, 1970. Tropical depression has moved across Malaysia and has reached tropical storm strength in the Bay of Bengal. It rapidly intensifies and makes landfall in the early hours of the morning on November 13th. Winds in excess of 140 miles per hour just ravaged the coastline of East Pakistan. Those high winds cause a storm surge at the exact moment of high tide, causing a six meter high wall of water that just obliterates everything in its path. Obliterates everything. Hurry! Obliterates everything. Hurry! 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 Killed between 300 and 500,000 people, Lance. Yeah. 